Hey everybody, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and today we're going to watch The Matrix to see how accurate all the science and technology scenes in this movie really are. You take the blue pill, the story ends, you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Well, first, it depends on how you define real. When you're looking at a video game, you're not seeing all the lines of code that went into creating the characters and giving them movements and creating items. This is what makes Neo in the Matrix so special because he can see the code. Like he can actually see all the individual lines like going down vertically that make up people, buildings, activities, like he can see it all. The argument of the Matrix is that of Plato's cave. And there's a really good video that I wish I made, but I didn't. It's by a uh, Kyrgyzstat or Kyrgyzstan. I don't know how to say the name of the channel, but I'm gonna link it below and I'll use some footage from that video in here. But I highly recommend that you guys watch that video. It's the best explanation for the Matrix I've ever seen. Like, it's fantastic. So imagine that there's someone born and raised in a cave just like this one, and all they can do is face a wall their entire life. All they can see are the shadows created from the sun behind them that then creates the images on the wall. That person would think the shadows are producing sound, and some of the shadows are bigger, giving them size, moving further away or further apart, gives you depth perception. And if you were ever to leave the cave, and then you would discover there's plants and animals and textures and temperature and climates and hollyberry, <laughs> then you're like, holy crap, like this is so overwhelming and real, then you would run back into your cave because that's your safety. The cave is the matrix, and leaving the cave is an example of you leaving the simulation. The matrix? Yeah. Do you always look at it encoded? Well, you have to. The image translators work for the construct program. But there's way too much information to decode the matrix. A, a matrix, as it's used in like engineering, is a set of expressions like numbers and variables, and it's organized in rows and columns, so it's easier to utilize in organizational purposes. While it's in that data set, you can also like split it into different chunks and manipulate it and use it for whatever purposes you have. If a matrix has three rows and two columns, then it's a three by two matrix, and it has six elements inside of it. And what used to be a very common interview question for new programmers is they would literally have like a computer in front of you, and they would say, okay, write a piece of code that would call out the value of the element in row five, column six of a 12 by 12 matrix. Essentially, you're finding like one value in a very large data set. I'm going to learn jujitsu. You can like download the information of like jujitsu movements like like grappling and wrestling and things like that nature But what you cannot do is you can't download flexibility and strength Although if you're in the matrix this probably doesn't apply to you because like what like right, right now like Neil sitting in that chair Like that is his real self. That's his real body like those are his real hands those are his actual consciousness and thoughts but while he's in the matrix, he's nothing but lines of information and lines of code. So if that's all you are, you can just code yourself to being stronger and faster and learning jujitsu or learning how to pilot a plane or how to drive a motorcycle. Like these are all things that are very much possible in the world of the matrix because you're just adding information to like the memory of another user. The way that we do that right now in this world is by reading <laughs> or just, I mean, memorizing is an example of downloading information into your brain and you do that all the time. But there certainly is a difference between knowing how to do something and then actually doing it. Like you can't, there's, <laughs> yeah, like there's no way that you can learn how to swim by reading a book. Like you have to actually get in the water. So while you can download all the information on how to do something, actually like, enacting that as an action could be very different. Can you fly that thing? Not yet. Let's go. 
this is a little bit different than what we just saw with the jujitsu and physical movements because all the things here are like purely academic whereas like you don't like you don't need to be physically in shape to learn math what they're doing is like they're essentially downloading like here's a schematic and here's how you perfectly act on that schematic that's something that you just need memory in your brain you don't actually need to have anything like physical for you to act upon it's just but there has to be a limit to this stuff right like it's not like you can learn every secret of everything like you can't read every book that's ever been made like there is actually a limit to the number of like information that can be stored in our human brains now ai for example doesn't have that limit and th that's where the distinction becomes like the other programs in the matrix they might have artificial intelligence that don't necessarily have the same limit and restrictions as humans do ai is built on 100 percent logic so like as morpheus was explaining to neo like everything that these machines can do is based on constraints like and they can never leave their constraints like these machines they can't be like creative outside the bounds of rules you know like like machines don't know how to cheat if that makes sense like if you teach a um, computer how to play chess the computer doesn't understand how to cheat in the game of chess all they know is here are the rules i'm going to follow all of them and i'm going to win right but a human player like i mean it's not i don't recommend it but that's one thing like we have a creative element about our brains that machines do not have and they cannot have because everything they're doing is based on logic but when you mix emotions into it you can get a lot of creativity out of there that machines who don't who lack emotions can never think of power of line emp armed and ready emp electromagnetic pulse E EMP stands for electromagnetic pulse, and they are very, very high-powered radio waves. Radio waves are picked up by specialized wires that we call antenna, and what they do is they convert analog signals into digital signals. EMP radio waves are so powerful that the antennas all within their range will pick them up, as do all the other wires in any electronic device in their range as well. Like the, uh, the wires will actually behave as if they are antenna themselves and a positive feedback loop is created. So there's more energy coming from these radio waves that's being absorbed, m converting more wires into antenna, which then in turn absorb more energy from the electromagnetic pulse. So the voltage spike is just ridiculous and the surge of voltage actually will cause a short and then all of the electronic components will shut down. EMPs, however, can only fry digital circuits. Like any sort of logic gates will not work. However, if you have an analog circuit, an electromagnetic pulse will not affect you at all. I mean, if anything, it actually might turn the circuit on, or if it's already on, it might turn it off because of such a surge in voltage, your electronic devices can't function like outside of their optimal range. So they just, they're just gonna like short out as they're programmed to do. But a analog circuit, it'll have pretty much no effect when there's an electromagnetic pulse going on. I choose the matrix. The matrix isn't real. I disagree, Trinity. I think the matrix can be more real than this world. Virtual reality is really having a profound effect on us. I mean, video games are more popular than ever. And there's so many people, like they, they will choose to live in that game rather than in reality. But the, the game is fundamentally flawed. Like uh, so many, because so many video game players, the, they like as they're playing their game and like the, the character or their avatar in whatever video game they're playing, whenever like the character achieves something, it feels as if you are achieving that same thing. Like, I mean, a very basic example is like when you go from like level like 10 to level 20, like you feel that you've accomplished something in your own life, but you haven't. Like you are actually the same person. It's just your character is the one who's getting stronger and like uh, fighting faster and better. But like you yourself are not actually achieving everything that your character is achieving. But it's very difficult to tell those people that the video game is not real. 
because they're interacting with like everyone else on screen with their own characters and their own avatars and it's like yeah like the interactions are happening like those are real so it's it, it's depends on how you define real like if you define real as like the like you actually like using your sense of touch and smell and like those are just like electromagnetic like as Morpheus says that those are all like electromagnetic and chemical signals that your brain will perceive but if you define real as like interaction between a simulation then video games are very much real this video on the matrix got a little more philosophical than i think i had originally intended but we're talking about like the simulation hypothesis and what it means to be considered real so i guess that this is a little bit outside the realm of like of my ability to explain because there are certain things i don't understand well enough but i feel that i did the best job that i could to like show the most information that i can once again i want to thank you guys for watching the video i hope you found some value in it and as always Stay fresh and stay golden.